Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain how to configure domain password policy. In Windows Server 2022, domain password policy is critical to ensuring security and compliance in your organization. By default, Active Directory is configured with the default domain password policy. This policy defines password requirements for Active Directory user accounts, such as password length, age, and other important settings, and to display the default password policy. On Windows 2022, first, open Server Manager, and then, from the Tools menu, click on Group Policy Management Console. Then, open your domain, and expand it. Then, right-click on Default Domain Policy, and click Edit. Then, go to the path shown in front of you on the screen. And you must know that the default password policy is applied to all computers in the domain. If you need to apply different password policies, you can modify them. It is best not to create a new GPO and associate it with the domain. Now, that you know how to view the default password policy for a domain, I will explain the settings and take a look at them. And the first policy in the settings is Enforce password history. Here it is specified how many unique passwords must be used before the old password can be reused. In other words, if the current password is 1, 2, 3, this password cannot be reused until I change my password 24 times. As is appears of you, this setting is useful so that users do not keep reusing the same password. The default number is 24, and you can change it to any number suitable for the work system. After that, go to the second policy, Maximum Password Age. This setting determines the length of time a password can be used before it needs to be changed. The default setting is 42 days. Of course, you can change that to the number you need in the working system. For example, I will change it to 60 days. The next policy is Minimum Password Age. And this setting specifies the length of time that the password must be used before it can be changed. The default setting is one day. It definitely has to be changed. But change must be suitable for work. These settings must be configured by the admin to suit the work. After that, go to the next policy, which is minimum password length. This setting determines the number of characters the password should contain for users. On the domain, the default number is 7 characters. This means that my password must contain at least 7 characters. As an administrator you can change this policy, and make it more, or less. Each admin changes the settings according to what the work environment wants. After that, go to the next policy, which is the minimum password length audit. This setting is to enforce minimum password lengths on Windows Server Domain Controllers. Better to leave it as it is. After that, go to the next policy, which is Password Must Meet Complexity Requirements. In this setting if it is enabled, passwords must meet these requirements, and now contain the user's account name, or parts of the user's full name that exceed two consecutive characters, and it must be longer than six characters, and also contain uppercase, and lowercase English letters, and also contain numbers and non-alphabetical characters. This is enabled by default. And if you want to remove all this complication, you can choose Disable. This option is made through the admin, and how to impose the policy on users. Next, go to the next policy. Relax Minimum Password Length Limits. This setting controls whether the minimum password length setting 0 can be increased beyond the old limit of 14. If this setting is checked, and enabled, the minimum password length may be configured over 14. And the last policy is store passwords using reversible encryption. This setting determines if the operating system stores passwords using reversible encryption. This is essentially the same as storing plain text versions of passwords. This policy should never be set to enabled unless you have some very specific application requirements to improve the security of Active Directory. 
It is recommended to follow password policy best practices. It is also important to have an account lockout policy configured to lock out users. After too many failed login attempts, I prefer that each admin configure the domain password policy in accordance with the area in which he works. There are departments that prefer the complexity of the password, and others that prefer that the password be simple and easy, consisting of one or two digits. I hope that video will be useful to you, and thank you for watching. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.